Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a SAR9 and we're going to compare it with the newer SAR9 Meta. Many people call it Mete, but I talked to the people at SAR and they call it Meta. So we'll stick with that. But I've had the SAR9 for years. I was among the first to get my hands on this. It has become very popular the past couple of years. It has interchangeable grip panels and back straps, mimics an HK, and the upper mimics a Glock. People say this is the offspring of a Glock and an HK, but it's a full-size handgun with a 4.4 inch barrel, 17 round mags, very nice trigger pull forward serrations, pick rail, all the bells and whistles for a budget price. At one point, this was selling for 200, two and a quarter. Pretty amazing. Now you see it for right around $350. And it's been reliable. Easy disassemble. A lot of positives with the SAR9. But now they have the Meta, the SAR9 Meta. And is this much different? Is this worth the additional $100? Because this is going for right in the mid 400s. Okay, so mid 300s, mid mid 400s. So you're looking at a $100 more. And if you go with this, we'll do a quick look at the case. You're going to get two 17 round mags, two additional back straps, grip panels, a patch tool and a board brush for right around 450 bucks. Now this one they call Safari. So it definitely wins in the coolness look. If you like Safari, it's not flat dark earth, it's Safari. But the trigger pull is the same, the barrel length is the same. And for all intents and purposes, when you look at this, and you take away that frame color, you'll see that they're very similar. There is not a great difference, but this is $100 more. Now let's talk about the differences. Oh, before we get into that, I shot this. I wanted to make sure it, it shot the same, that I, I had the same impressions when shooting, and I'll just roll through that right now, and we'll talk about the differences. If we look at the upper slide serrations, we can see that they're pretty similar. We look at the thumb safety, which is ambidextrous. The slide stop, the magazine release, all that is the same. The overall feel is the same. And the trigger pull measures right at four and a half pounds with each of these. They have the same magazines. 17 round mags. There is no difference with the magazine, same pick rail. For the most part, it's very similar. But here are some of the changes. Let's start with the most insignificant one. The back plate is a little different. All right, that's one thing I noticed. Hardly worth mentioning. The engraving is different. That says SAR USA right there. That's sort of stamped on. And then the side, here's where it's engraved. SAR USA, SAR Slamaz. Okay, but here's the main difference. Well, there are two. One, if you look at the slide, this is cut at an angle. So this is a squared off slide, and this is cut at an angle. So it also has a little bevel there. People like that because it's easier to, to holster the pistol. Will it make that much of a difference? Probably not. But what this does is it shaves off what I saw was an ounce and a half. So let's go ahead and get it on the scale. Then I want to talk about the optics that you could put on the SAR 9 Meta. So this is an unloaded SAR 9, 1 pound, 11, 7 eighths ounces. And the Meta, 1 pound, 10 and a quarter ounce. So it is a little bit lighter because of that you know shaved off a little bit of metal but they also made this optic ready and it is supposed to fit a shield rmsc and i have one here and the holes align pretty perfectly but there are a couple things that the buyer needs to know 
The first thing, there are no mounting plates or anything. It just comes like that. Okay, the original SAR-9 does not. So we see that it has some cutouts there. But as I watched Rider's Range video, once that is on there, the, the bottom of the battery is exposed. Just a little bit. Okay, so if you can live with that, that's what you're looking at. But here are the screws that came with the RMSC. They do not work in there. Why don't they work? Because the thread, the thread pitch is metric. So when I talked to the people at SAR USA, they said it has an M4.7 thread pitch. So if you get an RMSC and you say, oh good, this will work on the SAR 9 Meta, you're going to have to get additional screws. I do not recall when I got this that they offered metric size screws. So you have to get what is that? M4.7 thread pitch metric. Whatever that is. So it is optic ready. It has the same sights. It's optic ready, but you have to hustle around a little bit to get those right screws. And it's a little bit lighter. Other than that, it's essentially the same gun. So the question is, if you have the SAR-9, should you also go with the SAR-9 Meta, and it is my opinion, unless you plan on run, running a red dot, I don't think it's necessary. I think the SAR-9 is fine. It's always worked well for me. Many law enforcement in Turkey use this, and perhaps the military too. But, you know, if you like the color, if you don't mind spending the extra 100 bucks, if you don't mind getting the additional screws for the optic, then the SAR-9 Meta may be for you. But in my opinion... I think you're getting all the gun you need here with the original SAR-9. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.